Hello, I am the Grave Digger. I'd like to tell you a story. Let's see what we have today. All right, Mr. William Kirby, the famous and highly regarded author of the Chien d'Or, The Golden Dog. Yes, Kirby was an early settler who penned books and poems and prided himself on his rather glorious colonial struggles with the Americans. And we also have here his wife, Eliza Whitmore, daughter of John Whitmore and Magdalene Servos. And Eliza, she had her own colonial pride. Her father saw his family murdered, and then he and his sisters were taken captive and adopted into the Delaware nation. That was until Captain Daniel Servos found them. And he adopted John, Eliza's father. And Eliza's descendants proudly display the letters U-E-L after their names, United Empire Loyalists. And did you know that today, adding the letters U-E behind your name is Canada's only inherited title? Meet William Kirby and Eliza Whitmore. And now the sun was up and shining on the gray square tower that stands William? above the place of landing nets, its walls William? thick as a feudal keep. William? How is a literature to get anything done? William? Madame, I have a poetic voice. You, on the other hand, have a woman's voice. In our home, William, you can have all the poetic voices you desire. But no matter how many poems and histories you care to write, you cannot leave your papers just lying around. They're on every table. They're in every room. They're on every floor. And if I find any more love lyrics... Love lyrics? Yes, love lyrics. They'll be placed in the cook stove. Eliza. And how many more letters do I need to find from that Maria Rye woman? Now, Eliza. Dear Mr. Kirby, your lines on our little cock sparrow both reached me. Of course, you are so right, Mr. Kirby. A brother is born for adversity. I am returned, Mr. Kirby. Will you come for tea? Eliza, Miss Rye is an accomplished woman. I was proud to dedicate my book, Le Chien d'Or, to her. As you well know, and as you never let me forget. No one can forget your golden dog, William. You remind us all the time. May I also remind you that I'm a very prominent personage here? Yes, we all know. Deputy Reeve, collector of customs, editor of the Niagara Mail for 20 years, and on every possible committee you could be on. I know because Janet Carnahan has listed your accomplishments in her book. I am very grateful. And so you should be. She doesn't find me half so interesting. Janet understands that my writing, my books, are my only extravagance. Women continually see this as reckless. Why? 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 Frugality, my dear Mr. Kirby. Lofty promises do not put food on the table. My dear, you should be proud that your husband has the heartbeat of the community at his fingertips. Yes, dear. And you know, and I know, that order and punctuality and deliberation are all that matter. We observe, we think, we reason. Yes, dear. Janet understands my work, Eliza. Yes, dear. She praises my golden dog, as does Queen Victoria. Yes, dear. And Janet shared with me her belief that it is one of the best Canadian historical romances ever written. Then, my dear William, would you be so proud as to share with me enough for the collection on Sunday? Thank you. 
Do those letters on my gravestone mean nothing to you, my dear? What does FRSC have to do with our real monetary needs, my dear? I am a fellow of the Royal Society of Canada, founded in 1822 by the Governor General. And that, my dear, reflects the importance of my works. My historical narratives, yes, my poetry, yes, my glorious dear. account of the struggles of Upper Canada. Yes, dear, right. Well, we are all very proud loyalists, William. And I, for one, probably have more claim to that title than many of you. But I'd be just as proud if you could be as generous with your monies as you have been with your words. But it is my words. <sighs> my letters, my book that must endure. They capture the essence of who we are, my dear. I just wish you had liked my political ditties. Who killed Cock Robin? Who killed George Brown? I, says Tom Gibbs, in spite of his fibs, I killed George Brown. <laughs> yes. William. Who killed Cock Robin? Who killed George Brown? William? I, says Tom Gibbs, in spite of his fibs, I killed George Brown. William! <laughs>